it's Rhea. Wherever you are and whatever time it is, I hope you are enjoying yourself. Yes, I do realize once again we are halfway through, what is it, May now? And I have, I'm just now getting to like doing the voiceover of this April birthday fan art, but hey. <laughs> Better late than never, I guess. If you're new to watching these videos, um, basically what I do is um, each month I try to take about like three characters who have their birthday in this month and I just do fan art of them because it helps me branch out more and practice fan art if I don't do it naturally because I know sometimes I tend to be pretty shy of doing fan art and that's something that I wanted to conquer more this year so uh, yeah that's why I started doing this and um, it's just been pretty fun. I try not to go like too crazy on how much effort I put into these just because um, I've noticed already that sometimes I way too much on these and they're supposed to just be like a little fun sketch really um and i don't want it to take away from other things that i could be working on so um yeah i just try to like keep it a little bit more chill i have to remind myself sometimes so the first character that i am drawing is gintaro yumino from uh, hypnosis mike if you've seen previous birthday fan arts you probably know by now that i am absolute trash for hypnosis mike um they're basically on the verge of taking over my life except they already have it's wonderful i'm thriving the other week i got in one of the merch jackets and um okay forgive me if my reaction isn't like super hype because i've been mostly sad today but aside from that i did say that i would open this package so i'm gonna go ahead and do that <laughs> okay so if i do that okay oh my god i don't know how to open a box i'm sorry hypnosis my hoodie that is me oh my god i'm gonna cry okay wait no it's fine oh my god wait okay wait like it's just a hoodie like i need to calm down but like i'm not ready but i am but i'm not but i am but i'm not okay there we go that's it it's a black hoodie no i'm kidding it look oh my god oh my god already hello hello <laughs> i got this in a medium by the way hopefully it'll fit i usually like when i get the bts hoodies usually i get them in like a um lot wait no i get them in a medium and they're pretty um big so let's see I don't know if they even had them available in small. I think they just had medium and large. Are you ready? Hello? Like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is actually so sick. Bitch, I'm... Hello? This is so cool. He's... D ignore my dirty mirror. I'm so sorry. But like, this is a look. This is life. I'm thriving. I love Gintaro. So, obviously I had to do... Uh, his drawing and his birth his birthday's on April 1st, which is hilarious him and Usopp from one piece I think that's really funny because they both lie and Their birthday is on April Fool's so but on terms of the drawing I feel like it didn't turn out that bad Like I looked at it towards the end and I was like, okay, you know, I feel kind of odd about the hand <laughs> in comparison to the face because when I look at the official art for Hypnosis Mike, like at least the, um, what's it, like the video game? Like the art for it, their hands are like, like they're probably normal size, right? But to me, they're so intense looking, like they're just there. And so on terms of that, maybe it's a little bit more accurate. I don't know, like I know hands can be a stylistic thing too like once when you have a general idea of the anatomy you can kind of like some people will have their hands bigger some people have their hands smaller i think it really just depends on like after you get down understanding a hand you kind of just go into your own style of how you prefer it to look so yeah but i feel like i still need to study hands more <laughs> i use my hands as a reference a lot of the times but i want to just draw a ton of them more so i can just get it down and not have to worry about it too much but i'm not really gonna talk about anything spoiler-ish so we're good on that end i just i love gintaro <laughs> as i said before i love that his whole thing is based around him being a writer like the way he talks is so extra and then just like whenever he drags on his lies and then dice falls for them it's like they're honestly such a good duo i love them they entertain me so much and 
He's just so pretty and majestic and dainty. I think his backstory that's like hinted at in like his first solo song is like, ah, I'm emotional, but he's great. All his verses are so freaking good. And uh, fun fact, his voice actor is Tadashi Yamaguchi from Haikyuu. So I love it. So the next character that I am drawing is Inosuke from Demon Slayer and I am not going to be talking about the Mugen Train movie until next time that I do this, so in May. And you may know why. <laughs> no pun intended. I will say like this pose I took a picture reference for of myself. So I'm currently studying like trying to get back to like practicing more male anatomy and I just don't I swear I don't know what's happening with our bodies like I don't know why they look like that I'm not talking about the way I draw them I'm talking about how they look in general like why do they look like that? <laughs> I feel so confused it's like I know it's not that wild okay I've known about males bodies for a while but for some reason I'm still just like what is this does this actually exist or are we just making this up because why does it look so foreign to me <laughs> it's mostly like the chest area like it's like their nipples are on the side the the way that the pecs are like i don't know it's just so weird i mean i don't really have a choice i kind of have to learn <laughs> i like get this anatomy down because it'll make just drawing fan art characters so much easier because there's so many guy characters that i want to draw i mean think about it if hypnosis mike IQ. There's many other animes that have a lot of men <laughs> as their featuring main characters, so I gotta get it down. Either way, I feel like drawing Inosuke was kind of fun, especially in like this dynamic pose. I am practicing more um, dynamic or like interesting poses at least. I haven't gotten to completely dynamic yet, but um, it's been pretty fun. Like I'm trying to get myself to... I'm always trying to do more. <laughs> because I know that I have so much to learn so I'm always trying to like push myself to try different things out and um so I am proud of myself for doing that I think in all of these I have some sort of pose and uh yeah so it was fun and I wasn't gonna draw Inosuke with his like his uh what is it his boar mask he looks cool with it but I know how to draw a human face better than I know how to draw a boar and I wasn't going to take time to study that just for this sketch <laughs> I did also try to experiment with like the whole rim lighting thing for the very first time and I'm not sure. You'll see like t I do like the little experimentation of like the background and everything and then I also just keep like the original version of it so. But yeah, Inosuke is great. He's- <laughs> I love that he's so pretty underneath his mask like he just has like this lovely feminine looking face and like his personality is very much chaotic barbaric and um but his fighting is great i i don't know if i've said this before but i have read all of the demon slayer uh stories other than like the little side stories i think there's one for you that i still have to read but yeah it's a really great i like the story a lot i know there's some things that could be better but for the most part a lot of the characters are just very enjoyable and Inosuke is one of them. I think what's great about his character is that even though he's mostly like wild and like headstrong, there are parts sprinkled around in his personality where um, he's in touch with more of his emotions. And you kind of see that in like the story and like as it progresses and stuff. It's just, it's cool to like see his duality, if you will. <laughs> we love duality. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you guys have to listen to me do this voiceover sometimes. <laughs> Nevertheless, I totally want to draw him again and again and again, especially with like Zenitsu and um, Tanjiro because they're just such a great trio. I love them. And yeah, I need to do more Demon Slayer fan art. I really enjoy the story.
So next up is a very great, wonderful, iconic, amazing character. You can definitely tell that I love him a lot. <laughs> it's Nakahara Chuya from Bungo Stray Dogs. I love Bungo Stray Dogs. I'm actually planning to rewatch it soon. If you've never seen it, it's an anime about like, um, so there's the mafia, there's the detective agency, and then there's just other people, and they all have different kinds of powers that, um, help them. I feel like it's both easy and hard to explain. It's probably because I didn't look up any kind of summary on this first, and I also haven't watched it in a little bit. I did watch Bunga Stray Dogs 1 though, and that was so cute and lovely. Until it got dark, um, there were some episodes where I was like, oh, I came here because it was cute chibi mode of everyone, and now I'm sad and emotional. <laughs> If you've seen like those one or two episodes towards the end that I'm talking about, then suffer with me. But anyways, it's actually it's a really fun anime and I love Chuya. Chuya's a part of the Mafia. He used to be partners with Dazai, who's a very popular character in the show. And once again, I love their I love them as a duo. There's just so many good duos and um, I love them. They're so funny. And Chuya is great because he's pretty. <laughs> because he's pretty, he's strong, he's funny, and I really don't like. He's just great in every single way. I don't know what to tell you. I love his power. Like his power, it's like gravity based, and it's kind of funny because it reminds me of Udadaka from uh, My Hero Academia. But the way that he uses it is so <laughs> catastrophic but it's amazing at the same time. Apparently his voice actor does one of the openings, I think it's either this one for like the second season? I don't know, I may or may not be correct on that, <laughs> but it's also kind of cute that he's tiny. I mean he's not like actually tiny, but he's similar to Edward Elric where it's like, if you don't talk about their height, <laughs> they get a little temperamental. I guess you could say they're a bit short tempered. I feel like my life is being threatened somewhere from the fictional universe. I think one of my favorite things is like in either, what is it, the third season? Second? Or we even have a third season? Anyway, whenever they- <laughs> whenever uh, Chuya and Dazai like meet for the first time as like teenagers and they just have such attitudes with each other, like they just hate each other from the beginning and it's so funny. <laughs> Their entire relationship is just, ew, this guy, gross. Like, like in Bungo Stray Dogs 1, <laughs> there's literally an episode where they're just going around, like, like, they're going out throughout their day as a normal individual by themselves, and anything that they see that reminds them of each other, they're like, ugh, I would never associate myself with that. <laughs> and it's so funny because who is that petty? Like, it's not that serious, but they are, and it's so funny. I love them. As for the drawing, I feel like it turned out okay. Like, it was initially what I had in my mind. It's just that right now I'm a little bit insatiable with my style because I'm still trying to figure things out. I want to change things. I feel like I want things to change, but I don't know what or how to execute that, so. And then part of that, I've been doing um, Draw This In Your Styles, so I'm probably going to post a video of doing those soon. And I'll also try to just experiment with other things. I know I want to do like style studies, I guess, of other people and just create more inspiration, but yeah, that's what I have planned. So um, we're almost done with like the drawing process of Chuya, so that means that this video is coming to an end. As we cue the outro music, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if you know any of these characters so that way I'm not just raving and rambling all by myself awkwardly. But um, if you enjoyed your time here today, please feel free to leave a like. And if you're curious to see more of my content, uh, you can check out my other videos and I definitely recommend subscribing. Uh, for reference, if you're new, I am Rhea or Yveria and I very much like art and posting art related content on my channel. I do try to post weekly, but sometimes things happen. Uh, if you would like more timely updates though, I would suggest you check out my social media down below. 
Until next time, again, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you a very nice rest of your day or week.